What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be doing a RAM upgrade on the Lenovo P50. It came stock with 8 gigs of DDR4 memory and now I have 32 gigs of DDR4 G-Skill Ripjaws 2133 MHz RAM and we'll be installing it today. To remove the service panel on the P50, first let's take out the battery. And then we need to remove six screws holding the back panel in. Once you have the screws removed, the back panel has latches that hold it in place and you need to essentially uh, pry it off. So here at the top, there is this little tab that allows you to stick a screwdriver in. And once you pry it up, you're able to get your finger under there and can work through removing this back panel. And here is the inside of the computer. So now let's remove the keyboard. To do so, there are three screws that we have to remove. Now to remove the keyboard you just push it up. You can see it's already removed itself and then you can pull it up right here, slide it out, and then fold it over. For our purposes here we do not need to remove the keyboard cable, so just be aware that it is right here and it's quite fragile. Our RAM slots are located under this panel, which is held in by a single screw. And then we remove the panel by sliding it right and lifting it up. And then here are our RAM slots. So here's the pre-installed stick, and under that is the empty slot. So let's remove the pre-installed stick first by using the two tabs on the side. Just like any computer, sliding it out. And now we're ready to install our RAM. So if you can tell on a DDR4 stick that the pins, there are less on one side and more on the other. On the P50, we install them here facing up with the uh, less number of pins on the left side. So let's install it in the first or the deeper bank first. Essentially we just slide it in. Make sure it's in place. And then push down. And make sure that the latches on the two sides snap into place on the corresponding slots on the memory. And let's do the same for the second set. And there we are. RAM is inside and secure. So now we'll just do a quick uh, reassembly of the computer.
and that should be it. So now let's boot it up and see what we have. And there we have it, 32 gigabytes of RAM.